Welcome to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass. Today, I'm going to show you how to use R and R Studio to write to an Excel file, populate it with some data, and then do conditional formatting based on what the data is for us. Without further ado, let's dive right in. If you do not have OpenXLSX installed, again, click on Install here and just type in OpenXLSX and then click on Install. Okay, so let's load our library. First things first, we're going to load OpenXLSX. And then when we load that library, um, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to create a workbook. So the basic WB, we're going to say uh, create workbook. So we've got that object. We can go ahead and create that now. In fact, make sure you load the library, control enter, control enter. That way you can see if there's any errors ahead of time. I didn't click on it until just now saying run this, run this, but I've already run them in the background, so I want you to also run them so that if there is an error, it's not, um, well, it's something that you can see right away, or you can actually not have an error because you did load it. Hope you get what I'm saying. That was a little long-winded. <laughs> All right, we're going to create a couple of styles. How do we want to condition? How do we want to fill these cells based on the condition? So we need to create a style first. So we just do a create style function. So there's all kinds of functions in OpenXLSX. And I'm going to say the font color is equal to, and it's going to take a hex code. So just you can just populate um, random if you want, but I think you should go a little bit less than random and just follow me for now. So background fill, I'm going to also do, um, it's a, in quotes, Pound sign FFC7CE. Now I picked these out and I looked them up online to create kind of a, a red color. And that's why I looked them up already. You should be good to go. Let's do green style as well and do the same thing. So creates, not create post, create style. And the font color will go with a slightly different color. So we'll do 006100 and we will do a was it background fill is equal to, and we're gonna pick a green color, so C6EFCE, -E. boom. That should do it, so I'm gonna run both those lines, make sure they work, no errors, good to go. Okay, we've got our styles, so when do we apply these styles, right? Well, first, let's write some data, so uh, write data, write data to where? Our workbook to which uh, spreadsheet? Well, the one called condition one, or which tab, I should say. And we're going to write it in, we're going to write the numbers 1 through 26. So shorthand to do a sequence in R is just to do 1 colon 26. That'll return a vector of 1 through 26. Okay, and now where is that going to write it to? Well, by default, the very first column. So I'm going to write that. In fact, we can't check that yet, but we can if we save our workbook. We can do save workbook, and then WB is our workbook, and we can call it whatever we want. We'll call it condition1.xlsx. And then we'll do override equals true, right? So we can run this. Oh, let me run the whole thing here, boom. Workbook does not contain any worksheets. Oh, we didn't create the worksheet called condition one. That would help. So let's do um, create worksheet, I think. No, add worksheet. Add worksheet. We're gonna add worksheet to this one called condition one. So we didn't do that part. That's the error that I have. So let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing and run it. No errors this time. And we can go over to condition one. We should see one through 26 populated. There it is, right? Not bad, easy enough. Now we can check every time because we have saved workbook in there, but let me lower this a little bit so we can get the rest going. While we're at it, let's do another column. So let's, let's write some data to uh, another column. Uh, under condition one and we're gonna say where the data is gonna be the letters and we can do in brackets 1 through 26 that's just a built-in function for R but by default it's column one so we need to do a start column I think it's start call yeah start call equals two and we can do that too so I can rerun the whole thing and we can check over and over again that it is working and that's probably what you should do see I have a through Z right next to it in column two, which is B. Okay, I'm not gonna probably refer back to it every time, but I just wanted to show you how to kind of, you know, work through these things. So now let's write our conditional statement. So it's actually called conditional format 10, don't forget the ING, and uh, we're gonna apply it to a workbook. We are gonna apply it to a worksheet called condition one that we just created. And then 
we would have to say, where do you want to check this condition? Well, column one, so columns equals one, and the rows I'm interested in are the one through 26. I'm interested in those rows. What rule would I apply? So we would say rule, I believe, yeah, yeah, rule is equal to, and here we just put in, I'm gonna put in, for an example, if it's less than 10, I wanna apply a rule. Okay, cool, but now what do you wanna do if that's a true statement? We wanna apply a style, right? So we're gonna say the style is going to be equal to, if it's less than 10, I'm gonna say it's the red style, just like that. All right, let's do it again, run it all. Boom, make sure that your workbook is closed when you run it or you probably will get an error. All right, so nine down to one is red, as you can see, so it worked for us. So let's play around just a little bit more with that and populate some more things here. So let's copy this and paste it and we'll just do a, a different condition. We'll check the same column and the same rows. We'll apply a different rule though. We'll say, let's say greater than 15. You know, this could be some grading system or something if you really wanted to, but greater than 15, we're gonna say it's green style. Again, I'm gonna run the whole thing and keep checking and showing that it's working. And there we go. We have some that are not condition formatted and then we have some that are. Now let's check out this other column, column two, the letter column real quick, just for funsies, I should say, if I could find it. There we go. All right, so one more. I'm gonna paste the conditional format in once again, but this time let's change it to, um, we want column two, so columns equals two. We do want the same rows, one through 26, which is A through Z. And our rule doesn't really make sense because it's less than or less than 10. So let's just do a quick rule. I'm going to use single quotes and I'm gonna say um, the rule is equal to equal to the letter A. So this is a little complicated. Let me see if I can explain this for you real quick. So because of the, the single quotes are on the outside and the double quotes are on the inside, R knows how to convert this to what it needs to in order to process, right? <laughs> so I actually need those quotes in Excel. I need those quotes to be there because it's a text. The format of that column based on the letter in there, it's a text. To refer to text, you need to have it in quotes. So that's why I have the quotes around quotes. Hope you kind of understand that. So if it is equal to A, well, let's just do, let's do, D, uh, just for the heck of it. If it's equal to D, we're gonna apply a red style. So one more time, make sure you are, oh, ooh, see, make sure your conditional is closed like I just did and run it one more time. Let's hope this works. And there we go. Boom, the letter D has been highlighted red. So that simple, it's not so bad, not so bad. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I will say that I am very close to getting a thousand subscribers. I think this weekend I will hit the mark. And with all your help sharing these on social media, continuing to watch them and liking them and commenting below helps me tremendously. So I appreciate all of your support and there's more to come. Join the Discord. Hopefully that'll grow enough that people can actually help each other out more often. It is growing, I will say that. And I'm glad that we have that avenue to kind of chat in real time. I'm on there once in a while but I do have a full-time job. So, you know, it, it, we have to rely on, any, on each other for this sometimes. So thanks again. Subscribe, like, and share this video.